Yo, what is going on guys? Fortune here. Welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War video. In today's video, we're going to be covering the Gallo, aka the Spaz 12. So I posted the Hoyer yesterday. I, I'm still not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. I read all the comments, but I think it was something like that. And I figured why not cover the Spaz 12 next. So we got the Diamond Camel. We're going to look a little bit more in-game as well. The Spaz 12 in this game is definitely extremely powerful as well. And for me, I have a ton of fun and had a ton of fun ranking this gun up as well because it gave me so much Black Ops 1 vibes this Spaz. 12 here. In fact, I might actually do a Black Ops 1 Spaz 12 comparison to this gun, so basically play both games side to side and uh, kind of just relive the moments. Anyways, hopefully you guys do enjoy the video. We're going to be going for some streaks with the Spaz 12 here. I don't know, maybe hardcore, maybe a little core as well. If you guys do enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like. Let's see if we can break 2,000 likes. And if you guys are brand new, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 400,000 subscribers. Can't thank you enough for all the support on the channel recently. Thank you guys so much for sticking around, hitting that sub button, and turn on those notifications if you guys haven't already. Without further ado, guys, let's get right into this. All right, boys, so we're gonna showcase the Spaz 12 Diamond right here real quick, a nice inspect. The thing looks pretty nice, I have to say. I really do enjoy Diamond Camo in this game. I think it looks nice. I'm gonna show you guys my class setup here in a second. Well, that's my teammate, what am I doing? Time to make them very angry, just spamming my shotgun. Let's do it. Good night. Alright, we're off to a 3 no start. So like I said, I'm gonna showcase the class setup here since I forgot in the intro. Also, we're starting here on core rather than hardcore. We'll do hardcore in a little bit. Oh, okay. Also, my last video, the Hoyer, I actually forgot that I was playing on this map too. And I was destroying right here on this side, I'm pretty sure. The only bad side to having 12 shots is uh, having to reload them too. So alright, let's call in the UAV. My teammate's on A, so I'm just gonna push the spawn. Get the nice flank off real quick. Night. Call on the counter as well. I think that guy went through the vent. He just killed one of my teammates, but not both of them. Dude, did these guys leave? Two of them didn't spawn in. We lost A, but they're kind of spawning at CM7 and now. That's a pretty good start, I'm not gonna lie. Um, what? Oh, that's, that's really nice, actually. Thank you for that. All right, really quick, while we got a second, I'm going to show you guys my attachments. Um, we got the Agency Choke, we got the 24.6 Ranger, we got the SWAT Laser, we got the 12 Round, and we got the No Stock. Basically, the reason for these attachments is, one, I enjoyed the silencer. I think it sounds really good in this game, especially with this Agency Choke, whatever this is. There we go. Bye-bye. See ya. Anyone else? I'm going to drop the Jammer, at least. All right, we'll take it. So it's not extremely powerful. I was going to use the attachment that benefits the damage a ton. It takes away a lot of the damage range, so I wanted to leave that on. It's definitely beneficial to use that attachment where it um, puts 83 damage. I think that's like the last barrel you can get. Um, it really helps close range. You get one shot kills rather than two with the Spaz 12, but the second you start shooting someone from further away though, it kind of just blows. Well, I'm 18 and four, which I don't really feel like I'm doing that well because I haven't really seen a lot of people besides the people I've killed. Oh, okay. So they connected two more level 100s. This is insane right here, dude. Skill-based matchmaking times 20. Absolutely insane. I'm not even kidding. All of my recording, all of my playing, I've never seen a full level 100 team yet. This is crazy. Hopefully we have a better second half. I feel like I didn't do much that half. I don't know. Went by too quick. Teammates are really pushing for B. Double kill with the napalm. We will take that gladly. Goodbye. Get off of B, pal. Should probably let them have B just so we can have a little bit more time. I'm gonna wait here for a second. I feel like they're spawning and they're about to run this way. I think I'm right. No, I ran through the middle, I think. Nice. Oh. Alright, I don't want to secure C. Oh, there's another spaz on the ground. Yo. Goodbye. This one is the uh the zombies camo. This thing looks nice too. Hey, this is pretty this is pretty cool actually. I have two of them. I don't even know how he just knew I was there. That's kind of crazy. All right, let me reload this. Uh, let me reload this as well. They both got 12 rounds, which is pretty nice. All right, I'm about to run right through here again real quick. Goodbye. Nice. Oh my gosh, you're posted up in the back. I'm on a mercy list, dude. This is crazy. Alright, let me reload my other Spaz 12. This is pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie, 34 and 8 too. I don't know why I'm running such low kill streaks though. Alright, they're all spawning in again. Let's uh get fully reloaded and let's get ready. I just heard one guy slide. Where'd he go? 
No. Yeah, but I don't know. For me, I get so much Black Ops 1 vibes when I use this Spaz 12 in this game because it kind of just performs exactly like it. Like, you wouldn't get a ton of one-shot kills, but you'd still be able to kill a lot of people because it had so much ammo and you could shoot it pretty rapidly. This guy's about to run right through here. He's going through the vent. Let's climb up real quick. We're up 180 to freaking 100. Goodbye. I'm just gonna push this real quick. Up there in the corner. I'm gonna push this left side really quick. Try and get a couple more kills before the game ends. Alright, 41 and 11. Not bad at all for just using a Spaz 12 versus a bunch of level 100s. That was insane. Alright, I think I might do one more game of core or a game of hardcore too. I'm not sure. Probably core. Let's go. Alright, we got a nice game on Armada. Let's roll. We'll probably do a hardcore match after this, I think. Good try. Well, luckily I shot my whole entire magazine at him. Oh, I got flanked. So that guy killed me. Okay, now they're capping B. Wait, he, he ran right off of it. Sorry, pal. I feel like the only way I'm gonna do good on this map is I kind of control the middle. This guy's in B. This guy's up top. Nice. They're coming in B from their side. Oh crap, I did not mean to switch weapons. Will the flank pay off? Got two out of it. I think there's a guy up here. Oh, we got three. Let's go. Guy all the way down low somewhere. Good night. All right, let me reload. That's the only sucky part of having 12 shots in this thing. Oh my gosh. I started off really slow, and now I'm on a massive tear right now. Where did that guy even come? Where are they coming from right now? They're not even on the minimap. They all have ghosts. All right, I hear one. Just run up here. Make it easy. All right, at least my teammate's looking that way, so let me get a reload off real quick. Uh, they're going for a flank or something. I don't know. I don't know where they're coming from. Okay, he's on B. 10 kill streak. No, dude. Let's see if my napalm strike does anything. I don't think it will because this is not the map for it, to be honest. Once again, gonna go for this flank. And next round, definitely gonna play a lot of objective because we need to come back. Chasing you. Well, 40 points off a chopper gunner. That should help us. I'm going right to B. All right, I guess I'll cap A since no one wants to. What? They just spawned behind me? Get off of me, buddy. Oh, they're all spawning right here. That's good. Let me call on the chopper gunner, dude. Try and kill some of them. Oh, I guess it's a pretty good map for a chopper gunner. Pfft. There's one kill. Well, this thing is definitely not amazing. I can tell you that much, at least on this map thus far. I legit do not see anyone. No one's popping up on the map. Three total kills with the chopper gunner. I'd actually probably rather use the cruise missile way cheaper and way more kills with it. Two dead. Teammates need help. Teammates need help. Okay. Should have B. Get B. Let's go. They're on B. Goodbye. Try and make this somewhat a game here. My teammates are really not doing too much to benefit this, but once again, flanking this side. No, dude, I could have had four or three of them. Go, go, go. Go in there, teammate. Come on. Let's get this, boys. Come on. Quick, 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 quick. I don't get it, man. I literally just played against all level 100s, and now I have to sweat again. Uh, well, actually, I guess I did pretty good versus them, so they're making me sweat even more. Like, I'm just using a shotgun, dog. Well, it looks like GG here. It looks like GG here. I had a pretty sick 10 kill streak, 43 and 21. Uh, honestly, you guys want to see games where I struggle too, because I feel like it's uh, kind of relatable to all of you guys, where you have good games and then you struggle. Take the 43 and 21 gameplay. We're going to play one game of hardcore here, try and get some nice feeds. Let's roll. Let's roll a game of hardcore Nuketown. Um, hit our shots, get some nice feeds, that'd be fun. Hopefully I don't run into a ton of campers, because uh, people tend to not move in hardcore. Well, also Nuketown too. <laughs> Alright, this is a good push. I'm already in their spawn building. One. No. Look at the guy laying in the back, dude. Like, move. I'm so happy. Okay. So happy I just spawned behind him, because he deserved that for laying on the floor like that. 
Also, I think I said this in my other shotgun video, but um, the best way to get long shots for your shotguns is play hardcore. You'll you'll knock out the long shots super quick. I missed too many shots on that. Let's go. Let's go. No, I choked. I choked. That would have been like a five man. Call this spy plane in. You're dead. Okay, they're all still in here. On the floor. Up top, up top. Move. Alright, they're gonna flip. I'm gonna call this napalm in. Take the double kill even though it killed my teammate. Anyone upstairs? Let's find out. I saw some dude run up in the back. The whole other team has whipped out shotguns too. This is hilarious. Okay, they're all coming from the back though. I hate blowing such good opportunities. Like if I killed that guy and turned, I could have got such a nice feed. That was a collat, nice. Three. Four. Five. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. No, I ran out of ammo. I got like seven with that 12 round clip though. That was nice. 12 round mag. Got a chopper gunner. This game's actually close too. 77 76. Alright, they're spawning all over the place. Oh my gosh, that was a four man. Holy crap. And then my teammate killed me, bro. Come on. I always get team killed in the hardcore. It's crazy. All right, 88, 83. We're pulling through here. Nice. It's a double. I'm just going to push this way real quick. Close it out. We closed it out. 45 kills in TDM on Nuketown. Honestly, I will gladly take that. I don't really care about the 18 deaths. I think this was the five man I had or whatever. I had the collateral right there. Oh yeah, this was the seven kills and 12 shots, I think. All right, guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you guys are brand new. If you guys want to see Black Ops 1 to Cold War comparisons, let me know in the comments down below. Peace out and have a great day.